Example 1.3 Coulomb's Law Figure 1.3 shows three point charges that lie in the XY plane in a vacuum. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the net electrostatic force on Q2. Write down all the information given which you have here Q1 negative 6.0 micro coulomb Q2 4 micro coulomb Q3 negative 5 micro coulomb times 10 power of negative 6 and then what you have to do here is uh, R12 R12 is here between Q1 and Q2 R12 which is 20 cm R12 and then R23 is between between Q2 and Q3 which is 12 times 10 power of negative 2 meters ok next step is uh, we sketch the forces acting on Q2 which is For Q2 and Q1, it will be attractive force, so it will be towards there. So F, F12, and then uh, between Q2 and Q3, it also will be attractive force because Q2 is positive and Q3 is negative charge. So this is your direction. You label it as F32 here. Okay. Next is uh, you must know the uh, theta here, which is of course theta will be 73 degree. Okay, 90 minus 17 degree. Okay, and then calculate F12. K Q1 Q2 over R12 squared F12 9 times 10 power of 9 Q1 6 times 10 power of uh, negative 6 Q2 4 times 10 power of negative 6 divided by R12 is 20 times 10 power of negative 2 squared and then uh, so you get the answer which will be um, 5.4 Newton for F12 next is F32 K Q3 Q2 over R23 squared or R32 squared it's the same F32 is uh, 9 times 10 power of 9 and then Q3 will be 5 times 10 of negative 6 just take the magnitude and then 4.0 times 10 of negative 6 divide by uh, 12 times 10 of negative 2 don't forget your square so F32 you will get 12.5 Newton and then next step is the you construct the table so in your table you write down force and then you have x component here in newton unit and then y component in newton also so write down your f12 and also f32 and this one down here is summation f Submission for F2. Okay, so for uh, F12 will be cos 73 degree, 5.4 cos 73 degree, 1.58. The answer 
f12 sin uh, 73 degree so it will be also positive 5.4 sin 73 degree 5.616 sorry okay and then how about your f32 so your f32 here actually you just have in uh, x component okay so it will just will be 12.5 newton and your y component is of course zero okay you sum up for x component and also y component where you get so for your uh, f to x okay sum up the them so we will get 14.1 newton while for your f to y will be 5.16 newton okay and then what do you do for the next step is uh, calculate the magnitude so for your magnitude of course you have to use uh, f2 which is will be square root your summation for f to x of course squared plus your summation for f to y squared and then a uh, substitute value square root f to x will be 14.1 squared plus 5.16 squared and you will get your magnitude is uh, 15.0 newton after you get your magnitude then you can calculate your direction and so direction here will be theta which is tangent inverse what summation f to y over summation f to x okay and the next part is a substitute value for your uh, theta tangent inverse which is will be 5.16 divided by 14.1 so and up you will get your theta you will your theta will be 20.1 degree where this is uh, above positive x as this 